Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Metroid Other M with me, Rock Paper Mario. Now, in the last part, we basically finished up all the item collecting. Wait a second, did we. What's in there? What's through this power bomb door? Guess we'll just have to find out, eh? Yeah, we basically finished up all the item collecting. Um, and everything. Um,. So now all we have to do is go and like, well, well first we have to deal with this guy, see what he's guarding. I hope I don't like have to, I hope he doesn't, okay this guy, this kick, this one I'm talking about how about how like, depending on which room you're in, like some of them will be like harder than others. Because this is like a really like tight space to be fighting him in, he's probably the last one of them is he? Go through here. Man, this place is interesting. Yeah, so all we all we were going to do was just to like, we're just going to go and follow that arrow wherever that's leading us to, which is in there. Um, but now that I'm after seeing this place, I'm kind of intrigued. Might as well do some exploration. Yeah, so this is going to be the last video in the LP. Can you guys believe it? Oh my god, an elevator. Let's see where it goes, man. I'm my curiosity is, my fascination is just like running wild at the moment. Um, no, actually, this is what you're supposed to do. <laughs> Sorry, but, like, yeah, no, this is what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to, like, see that guy there, and you're supposed to, like, you could do this, like, right at the start before collecting everything, but, like, I, I, as far as I know, if you do this, like, if you finish the game now before getting 100%, you can't get 100% then because it, something closes off or something. Yeah, so basically we're going to have like a little gauntlet here, if you could call it a gauntlet, it's not really that much to be worried about. Um, because these guys, like, well, they're they're just like the regular old enemies that we've been seeing all the time. Even though, like, of all the enemies th that we could see, these are probably two of, like, the difficult, th difficult ones. Um, so yeah, we're going to have like a little, it's almost like, it's almost like, um, one of those elevator gauntlets, like in beat 'em up game, except it's just in a corridor. Do you know? What do we need to do now? Oh, there's an invisible guy! Well, one screw attack should sort him out. There we go. Yeah, screw attack just like messes up a lot of things in this, like, boss gauntlet. The fact that you have, like, the fact that you have the screw attack just makes a lot of things a lot easier. Don't worry about losing energy anyway, don't worry, I mean... You're probably gonna be fine. Come on, these guys can't have, like, much left. There we go. Okay, on. I really like this gauntlet, it's so fun. Like, I remember the first time I played it and I was like, Oh man, this is cool! Like, I was just like... Yep, screw attack kills them in one hit as well. Screw attack kills all of these guys as well, so they're nothing to worry about. Yeah, basically the hardest enemies are those spike those armadillos with the big spikes on their back. They're the hardest ones to contend with. Yeah, these guys even are simple with the screw attack. Nothing to worry about once more. Ooh, what are you throwing at more of these guys? Are these a more power? Are there like two versions of those guys? Because like, Joe, the guys that you see in the gravity part of Sector 2, are they stronger than the guys that you see earlier in Sector 2? Because I don't know. Oh god, these guys. Oh come on. You think that these guys are tough? You think you're tough? <laughs> I hate black keys on a piano. I hate the back of Forrest Whitaker's neck. I hate Whippy Goldberg's lips. I hate my gums, cause they black. <laughs> Just see, that guy is crazy and don't be a menace. He's insane. If any of you haven't seen Don't Be a Menace, then like... Okay, do you know what? Like, I, I'm gonna like... Power bomb time. I think that should sort him out. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Another one. Well, it was handy to like, get rid of the first one with a power bomb anyway. And we've like the plasma beam this time. All we have to do is wait for him to do the red thing anyway. Do the red thing! Do 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 do
do when well, we could do another power bomb now. There we go. Is that everything? Is that the end of the gauntlet? Yep, and there's our final save room in the game. Yeah, so before you save in this room, as far as I know, like you should go and get 100% because I think on Polo 18 had a problem with that he couldn't like get 100% because he did this part before going getting like one or two of the missiles. What's in there? Only one way to find out! Okay, this is not good. Maybe I should have just finished the game, guys. <laughs> the tentacle. Day of the Tentacle. What? You mean Fantoon wasn't dead and gone forever either? That's all we need is another thing that's not dead and gone forever. She's between Ridley, Mother Brain, Fantoon, all of those guys. That's all we needed was something else that's not dead and gone forever. Um, yeah, this is the optional, this is the, the, man, battery, yeah, of all the times for, like, the battery to go. Um, basically what you're, what you've got to do is just, like, basically dodge him and shoot him. Dodge these, he's not, like, I just, I love the way they brought Fantoon back, you know? And I kind of like that it's Fantoon as well, because the thing is, the thing is, like, Fantoon. Um, like, remember in, like, Fantoon in, like, um, Super Metroid was in the, like, was in the wrecked ship. Um, which was, like, the, and he was supposed to be, like, the ghost of the ship itself. Well, similarly, like, the bottle ship is now, like, a wrecked ship as well. So he, like, might be the ghost of, like, Super Missile Time Fantoon. Okay, that did hurt. But look, he's not even doing that much damage. We, we, we've nearly got him. Okay, stay out of there anyway, because that will do damage. Did I get one on? Oh, good. Wow. See, that's where those Excel charges come in handy. These hands. They're like they're like that hand in Twilight Princess, that hand that I hate. But basically, like, it's all about sense move. Like, if you can dodge his, like, little blue fireballs and then sense move him, like, then then you're fine, like, you're not going, because you'll get, like, a, char a free charge shot every time. So it's just move, shoot, move, shoot, move, charge, shoot, us over and over again is all it is. And avoid those, like, red, like, energy circles as well. See, we've got him, look. Come on. Fine, like, fine. Come on, get him, get him. Boom. That's the final boss. That's the real final boss, guys. Fantoon. Not that hard either, but just great. I love that they put him in. Because you guys know that, like, Fantoon... Like, to see, the thing is, like, even though this game wasn't hard, like... You'll see now that they're... Well, no, I'll talk about this now in a minute. This isn't the time. Let's just get out of here before something untoward happens. So yeah, that was your like that was your like secret ending boss of the post game Fantoon, just like in Super Metroid, and I just think it's kind of cool that it's Fantoon, because like Fantoon, just like he was the ghost of the wrecked ship and like the crew, the ghost of the wrecked ship in Super Metroid. Similarly, he could be seen as the ghost of the bottle ship in this game, so that kind of way, because the bottle ship is basically in ruins and it's about to be destroyed. So that kind of way, it's just like. I really like that idea, do you know? And I like that they brought him back. It's a nice little touch. Okay, this needs some repair work. Oh, cool. Oh, well. We won. What are we supposed to do now? Just jump out? Yay! But yeah, there's something about, like, beating that bo Like, I think it's once you beat Fantoon, you're not able to go back to, like... Get a there are like a couple of missile expansions that you can't go back and get or something, or you can't make it back to like sector one and two. Well, here's where we need to go, guys. Yellow arrow is pointing that way. I oh, man, I love this. I'm going to turn this up. I just, I love this like part. Oh, I love this scene. It's just, I remember the first time I saw it. That it was when like I just, I loved it so much. And this music is fantastic as well. I love it. It's Adam's helmet. That's what she wanted to come back and get. 
and it really is irreplaceable. Man, I'm shivering right now. Well, no, I'm getting chills. Like, it's just... Like, their relationship is just, like, like it's not, like, a, a relationship. Like, obviously, her relationship would have been with his brother or whatever. See, this is what happened. This is the missing part of the story. No! Samus! Don't worry. The Galactic Federation CEO who's here now will help you. See? Like, he went to stop Samus going to Sector Zero. Like, do you know that kind of way? I just... Oh, that image just, like... Yeah, that's the catharsis, catharsis point is what that is. What? We couldn't go one Metroid game without having like a self-destruct sequence. Yeah, basically now we're Zero Suit Samus. And all we've got is like our stun gun. And we've got five minutes to get out. It's just like... Back yeah, jeez, you don't have to tell me twice. Yeah, so basically this is like... The, Gover the Galactic Federation destroying the ship or whatever. Um, like, at least, but and look, look, if you see, she has, like, Adam's um, hel helmet clutched underneath her arm, like, when she's, while she's running. I don't know, I just think it's cool, like, you know? And um, plus, it's fun to be, get to be, like, Zero Suit Samus as well. Yeah, those guys, see, that's what I'm telling you about. You have, like, a stun gun to, like, Basically, the name of the game isn't like killing things when they get in your way. Basically, what you just want to do is stun them so that you can run past them. See, like that. And as if if you notice, like you don't have like all your energy tanks or any of that stuff either. But it's just cool. Like I mean, because they go with a the whole game without the like. They go with a the whole game without their like little like um. They go the whole game without their like. Their obligatory Metroid self-destruct sequence, and then, like, right at the end, like, like, Super Metroid has two of them, like, you know, that kind of way. No, get under there. Yeah, if that happens, you have to, like, shoot the door. Come on. There, you can do this faster and, like, get in under the doors before they close, but, like, and you can, like, slide. I think it's, like, two that you press to slide in under them. But I did it wrong, so... It's fun being Zero Suit Samus, I don't know. I wish they were like, cause, like, what are, what are the other... Oh man, I'm after screwing this up, aren't I? I like went through the wrong door. Um... Like, what other games are there? I mean, basically there's Metroid Zero Mission is the other game where you get to be Zero Suit Samus. I can't think of any other ones. You don't get to be your Metroid Fusion, sure you don't. Yeah, get out of my way. Get out of here! Get out of here! Oh my god. There we go. Um, slide edge in- oh good. Um, that's what I'm saying, like if you're fast enough you can like slide in under the doors and whatnot. Oh come on, no! Yeah, you could actually die if you're like if you if you get like if you hang around too much and get hit by those guys, you could die pretty easily. I mean, that guy did like what 15 damage, but I mean that adds up if you get hit a couple of times and you don't have any energy, you know. Yeah, of course, hitting, getting hit by fire doesn't two help either. Minutes. Two minutes. There's like two minutes until we get blown off. Come on, we're nearly there, Samus. Nearly there. Just need to get back to the ship. Yeah, we're good. We're good. There we go. Back to the ship. And we're out of here, baby. I just, I love that. The whole Adam's helmet thing. I just, I could not believe it when I saw it the first time. I was just... Oh. I just couldn't believe it when I saw it. It was amazing. Let's go home and right. Um... I just, I love that ending sequence, I know it's kind of a bit like, I don't know, <laughs> overblown or something, but I hope, I love the whole thing, it's just like... 
Bye bye battleship. Yeah, so basically, for you guys who don't know, the next game, like, chronologically after this game, is like, oh, here we go. Your rate for collecting items is. Oh, that was a good fanfare. 100%. That was a great fanfare. That's like one of the best fanfares ever. Congratulations. Sama said, Congratulations to me! Oh, I feel so privileged. That's brilliant. Yep. So now, like, I think, I can't remember if it's when you finish the game, or when it's when you get finish, like, the post-game, that the music at the start screen changes to this, but it changes to that, like, romantic, um, style music that's, like, Samus's theme or whatever in this game, which is kind of just a bit kind of a sad kind of theme, really. But, um... I don't know, like, I lo- I- Like, I didn't like, really, like, in the credits section of that game, I did- of, Like, the fa finale video where after the Queen Metroid, I didn't really talk about just, like, do the usual kind of sloshy kind of, like, stuff that you usually talk about at the end of an LP, so I might as well use this opportunity to just say that I loved this LP, like, I really enjoyed doing it, it was so fun, it didn't take that long, it was all just, it was a great laugh, and I, like, I hope I, like, I know I came into this LP kind of with a really defensive kind of attitude of, oh, everyone hates this game, and I love it, and so that kind of way, so I'm kind of glad that, like, that a couple of other people have kind of, like, that I, that I found, like, other people who like it, so that kind of way, and that another few people, because I was doing this LP, have kind of gotten into it, so that kind of way, um, I just, like, I, I don't know what the next LP is going to be to replace this one. I was talking about the last story. I Like, I don't know what I'm going to do about that. Because I really want to do it, but then there's a whole three-month crap. But then when have I ever, like, that's just a convention. Like, whoever, like, I don't know, like, I don't really care. If I want to LP it, I'm going to LP it. But then, like, by the time this is uploaded, I mightn't want to play it anymore. I might want to play something else, so who knows. Um, last stories out there is a possibility. I might just do like Sonic the Hedgehog 2 or something, something nice and short. But then like next to Billy Hatcher, I don't want to have too much like kooky Sega crap, you know? I don't know. Um, yeah, so basically like, I, I don't know if I like showed you this, but now also like, well there's like my, my second 100% file, like five hours faster than the first one. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna like delete this now. I don't know whether it's after you finish the game or whether you after you get 100% or whether it's after you finish the post game. I don't know which it is, but at one point you like get the option to do hard mode. Now this is what I'm talking about. Show the way the game on normal mode is actually quite easy. It's not that hard at all. On hard mode, basically what the difference is, you only have one energy tank. You only have like 99 energy. And during the course of the game, you get nothing. There are no missile expansions, no energy parts, no energy tanks, no Excel charges. Just the various kind of things that you get, like upgrades that you get given to you, like the super missiles, like the space jump, screw attack, all of those kind of things, grapple beam. There are no extra pickups, so basically you have to go through the whole game, if you want to do it, with 99 energy and 10 missiles. That's it. Nothing else. So you can imagine, like, when in, like, battles where super missiles are really useful, like, where you can only u do two super missiles, you know? And in battles where, like, bosses can do a lot of damage very quickly, like, or, or, like surprisingly, like, in Ridley battle, or even in the Fantoon battle, like, he did three energy tanks of damage. Like, that's, like, I didn't really show concentration that much because I didn't have to. Like, I know I used it a lot in that one video where I was fighting the lava monster, but, like, if you're playing on hard mode, I haven't really done it. I know I promised Sean of a Nintendo that I'd do a stream where I tried playing on hard mode or something. But it'd be a train wreck, seriously. And, like, the thing is, like, I'm not that kind of person who likes, kind of... <laughs> like, I don't like playing games on hard mode because I don't play games just for challenge. Like, I know some people love challenge and they love just being... Just driving themselves nuts trying to do something over and over again. I don't really... 
like I like the whole kind of the Gesamtkunstwerk aspect of video games. Do you know, like I don't, I just like the whole entirety of the thing, and I don't mind if a game is easy as long as it's fun. And sometimes when you play games like on hard, like I, I would kind of be afraid of playing this game on hard mode because I'd be afraid that it would end up not being fun. Like, first of all, I know I'd be bad at it at the start, but even if I did get good enough at it to be able to finish the game on hard mode, I'm not sure whether I'd enjoy it, do you know? So, I don't know. Like, hard mode is there, that's what it is, and that's what I'm saying, like, a lot of those bosses that are quite easy suddenly turn horrendously difficult if you play them on hard mode, so that's there. I suppose I could finish off this this video by looking at the gallery or whatever, seeing as we do have access to the gallery. Um, yeah, so basically, this is like all Irish work. There's like Zero Suit Samus. Um, there's like Adam and Samuel L. Jackson. And I love that picture of him like leaning on Samus's head. It's so funny. I really like them. That's Justin Timberlake. Oh no, that's not Justin Timberlake. Who is that? That is James Pierce, is it? I don't know. And who's this? That's KG, the guy that you don't see that often. See, he's dead. See, he has an extra as name. And he's dead. That's crazy old Maurice, isn't it? That's James. See, there he is. Yeah, he's the guy who was the deleter. And, no, that's KG. That you don't see that often. And then that must be Snake or something like that. Or that must be Adam. No, that must be Adam's brother, actually, is who that is. Or something. I am actually not that sure. That's Madeline Bergman. And there's Melissa, otherwise known as Mother Brain. And see, do you know what I'm telling you about, like, the way that she, like, has, like, featured... Like, I know she doesn't look like Samus, but she doesn't look unlike her either. Do you know, I think that's interesting, that whole kind of mother kind of theme that runs through this whole game. There's that wrinkly lit gobshite. And there's that asshole. Um cleaned our suit. Then you have like a couple of enemies like I mean th I'm not going to go through all of this but it's kind of nice. The artwork is kind of cool and like comic book looking and stuff. There's the walrus whale stag deer moose thing or whatever. There's those guys. Like you guys can look through it yourself on your copies of the game if you have it. There's like a good one of Ridley here somewhere. That's a cool picture. There probably is a good one of Ridley and a good one like I'll try and find ones of the bosses if I can. Oh what was that back there? Oh that was like I don't know who that is. That's something else again. I don't know what all that maybe that's stuff that was like going to be in the game but then wasn't. See now you can see that those guys are different. Um Trying to find a good picture of like the bosses of Ridley and stuff like that. That'd be cool. There's all the ships. The different ships that you see in the game. Oh, here we go. Now we're getting somewhere. There's like that guy. The blob guy. There's Ivysaur. Look, there's the shark. Look at him. The lava shark. I think he's a really cool enemy design. I don't know. And there's Nightmare's face. Look down there at the bottom left hand corner. Nightmare is a cool boss. I love Nightmare. I find Ridley. Because we all know Ridley is one of the coolest... Oh, there's Mother Brain, look. Jeez, contrast that with Melissa's sweet face. There's Ridley, there's a picture of him. And, um... There's more Ridley, that's like his skeleton, that's his, like, exoskeleton. There's Harry Bohemus. And look, there's him when he's BONNIE! Another picture of Ridley. Well, that's after he'd been killed by the Queen Metroid, isn't it? I don't know what all this is. Oh, this that looks like storyboard kind of stuff, is what that looks like. And look, there's Samus and, like, um... What is Adam's brother called again? I can never remember his name. Or is he, oh, look, there's Zero Suit Samus with, like, Adam's helmet. Um, is that Fantoom? Yeah, that's like the hand things from Fantoon. Good old Fantoon, eh? There's more pictures of Samus. I like it, and I like that picture because look, she looks happy, and you don't often see Samus looking happy because she's kind of one of these kind of. She's either. You know, sometimes she is kind of a bit of a tortured soul at times, you know. I like the way you can see her at different ages. Obviously, this is like teenage Samus when she's all like fuck the world kind of crap. 
Metroid. Is that Queen Metroid? Yep, there she is, large as life. And there's, not only is there gallery mode, there's also, um, I don't know why I'm doing all this, I'm just going to, just going to show, there's also theatre mode. And what you can do is, basically this will show all of the kind of, not only will it show all of the cutscene, it'll kind of, it's really a kind of a nice idea, it'll like show you every cutscene in the game, but in between it'll put like little bits of gameplay, like little sh videos of gameplay, so that you could theoretically like watch the whole thing as if it's a movie, and watch the whole game from start to finish, like and it'll like, it won't just be a collection of cutscenes, they'll put in bits of gameplay in between, and like if, let's say for example, like in the Ridley part, where's that? Um, that's probably back around here, so, yeah there it is, cause that's her, and there's Ridley. Like, they'll put in, let's say, the cutscene, and, like, this cutscene, and then they'll show, like, a, cu a like ga video footage of, like, someone battling Ridley, and then they'll have that cutscene. And I just think it's a really cool idea, I don't know. You could sit down and watch the whole game like it's a movie. But, do you know what, I think... It's kind of sad, but I think it's time to put this one to bed, guys. I, like, I, I really love this one. I don't know what is going to come up next, because, like, I'm all re I recorded all of this on one day, so there's, there's like, a couple of weeks left before it all gets uploaded, so... I guess the only thing left to do is say, thank you, guys, for watching this LP. Serious, sincerely, like, thank you. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.